I'm Amelia from Ask the Bellwether and continuing my series of videos about the Spinolution wind wheel. This one's rather basic. It's about putting the leader on the bobbin. You see I already have a leader on this bobbin. You notice the Spinolution bobbins have grooves at one end and nothing at the other end. This is the end that goes onto the wheel because this hex cutout connects to the uh, bolt that's at the back of the wheel so the bobbin can turn and these grooves hold the leader so they don't rub against the back face of the wheel. The older bobbins had holes in both ends and no grooves and for those I recommended putting the leader at the front so that it wouldn't rub against the back of the wheel. Uh, I like to make my leaders out of uh, this bright red acrylic in part because I seem to have a lifetime supply of it and also because it's a nice thickness for spinning thicker yarns uh, which are primarily what I like to spin on the wind. If I was spinning fine yarns, I might use some tencel yarn or some uh, crochet cotton. Now I've made a big long piece because I want to be able to adjust my tension on my wheel before I put fiber on it. I take both of the ends, I hold them together, and I make an overhand knot. So I make a circle, then I bring the very end, I wrap it around and through the circle and I tighten that knot down. There you go. And you see it's just a little bit left out. I could trim it if I wanted to clean it up. And the next thing I'm going to do is fold my circle so that that knot is not at either end. It's about 8 inches away from this end that I'm going to put on the bobbin. I need to go through two of the holes next to each other. If you're having trouble with this, you could use um, oh, there it went right through. You could use a screwdriver to help stuff it through, an orifice hook, um, even a paper clip to help fish it through the holes. Let's see. Here's a little screwdriver. I'm just stuffing it through until I get a little bit on the other side that I can grab and pull through. So now I have a short loop and a long loop on the inside of the bobbin. And I'm going to take and put the long loop through the short loop and then tighten that up there, so that it's inside the groove on the outside and now you see the bobbin, the yarn will wrap around it no matter if I'm going clockwise or counterclockwise. So that is how you put a leader on a bobbin. And this is a thing you don't need to do very often just when your bobbins are empty or if you decide you need to put a new leader on because the old one's getting too ratty. They do tend to build up twist over time. Thank you.